So this is showtime. It's time recording made fast and easy. I made this for myself and uh, I'm finding it very useful. Uh, it's been deployed to Google App Engine and it's available at the link you can see there, its-showtime.appspot.com. Let's check out some features. The first feature is uh, ease of entry. So, uh, as we can see here, to enter in a time range that you want to record as a you know, sort of work period, you enter it in as, say, let's suppose 8.30 in the morning till 12.30, where you break for lunch. 30, 12.30, like that. Hit enter. Cool. And just keep going. I use the numeric keypad, and you can enter these as fast as you like, and they'll be. Uh, transmitted asynchronously to the App Engine data store. All times are in the 24 hour clock. Oh, uh, so we were just entering Thursday there. Let's enter Thursday afternoon and you'll notice another feature. So let's suppose I worked 1300 to 1700 uh, that day. And you'll notice that the date auto advances to Friday. That's because I've got a, an auto advance time set of 3 o'clock. So if the uh, end time of the period is after 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 1500, then the next entry will auto advance through to the next date, the next day. <coughs> you can also set up uh, what's called a standard day. So if I set up a standard day at 8.30 to 12.30 and mm, say 1300 to 1730, I think I've done that. If I hit S, See those values appear just here. 1300, 1700, uh, so, uh, Additionally, when in terms of the auto advance, you can decide what are your working days, and they will be used by the auto advance. So once I've entered Fridays, it'll auto advance through to Tuesday. It'll skip the weekend. Now, if I actually did do some work on Sunday. And just use the down arrow to go back a bit, uh, or up arrow to advance. Delete an entry. Yeah, delete that. I'm going to delete this stuff because this is uh, my real time sheet. So. And in fact, this is all in the future. <laughs> Alright, let's look at a um, let's look at a report. So at the end of each month, I'm expected to turn in a timesheet. Um, click to the report section, and it'll automatically uh, oh, why don't we reset this. I'll reload the app, so the, that that uh, dialog will be reset. And you see, the default is last month, so I can say, all right, this is what I did last month. I did 84 hours much and we'll print that and you'll notice it only prints the uh, significant stuff it doesn't print all that um, HTML stuff the header and the uh, banner at the top and stuff and that's it so in settings we see those items that uh, I mentioned can be configured the auto advance time the working days what are the entries space delimited that uh, correspond to a standard day for you? A number of days to display on the main screen there. And a default value for the, the submitted by. So you don't have to type your name. And uh, see, there's a hundred items here. You can click more, and it'll add another hundred. 